23 games during the regular season. Hit 306. Here he is batting fifth. Carter hits it hard and it's been somewhere for you in the right field. Carter makes the turn on his way to second and he will get there. Evan Carter taking advantage of what was a deflected ball by Abreu who dove to his right. The ball then didn't go all that quickly out into right field. Tucker had a long way to go to get to it. And Carter, reading the situation, took the extra base. And getting in the scoring position with one out for Jonah Heim. 28-year-old, all-star catcher, bangs the ball to right center field. It's down in front of Dubon, who's got a good arm, but his throw won't have a chance to get Carter. Texas one, Houston nothing, and a base hit from Jonah Heim. A well-rested Heim makes it one nothing. That's in the left center field off of the end of the bat. The Young's able to dunk it in there. Third hit of the inning for the Rangers. A four. A four pitch it's walk to load the bases ahead of the top of the order. Bases are loaded for Marcus Simeon. Rangers looking for a crooked number in the second. Not going to get it. Little pop shadow center. El Tube's out. And the Rangers get one but leave the bases loaded. So a chance to add on here to the one nothing advantage as Leoti steps to the plate. Oh, the one-two pitch. Is it hard? Deep right field and Leone Tavares takes Verlander deep. There's the first postseason home run for Leone Tavares. It gives the Rangers a 2 to nothing lead. Came a 1 2 slider and that one goes well back into the seats. A good end doesn't rose up. Montgomery about to throw his 84th pitch of the game. Swing and a miss from Abreu and a strikeout for Montgomery. That's six punch outs for Montgomery and there's one away. Tucker goes up the middle, and there's Gumby. There's Montgomery, who's made some tremendous defensive plays on top of the great pitching. Two out for McCormick. Grounds the first pitch to third. Josh Young with a candy hop, and a 1 2 3 6 for Jordan Montgomery, who's fired six scoreless in game one of the championship series. Let's see what Verlander chooses on this 3 2 to high, starting the seventh. Oh, that's ball is inside, and it's a leadoff walk. Wow, what a good pitch. Another long A-B going here, low on 3-2 again. That ball moves to the inside corner to get Verlander his fourth. Got him, strike three. Young may have swung at ball four, but a great pitch by Verlander just off the dish, and a big strikeout of his fifth. A solid postseason start for Verlander. Astros trying to get him some support, get him off of the hook. Here's a little jam shot, base hit of the center field, and Tavares has reached all three times. So three times through the lineup for Verlander, that's gonna do it. Baker to the bullpen, Justin Verlander, six and two thirds, the book not yet closed, but it's another strong one. The 40-year-old Justin Verlander, Hector Nair, for Marcus Simeon. Here he comes with the one two. And the end foul ground. It's Jose Abreu. And it's stretch time in game one. The Rangers two, the Astros nothing. Jordan Montgomery has been even better. He sure has, and he might be batter to batter right now, but he has done everything that the Rangers could hope for. In the center field, here comes Tavares to make the grab. And here comes Bruce Bochy. That will be all for Jordan Montgomery. What a terrific performance for the native South Carolinian. Here tonight, six and a third shutout inning with six strikeouts, and he'll head back to the dugout having retired the last eight batters that he faced. Josh Spores comes on the pitch. First pitch, bounces one to Seeger at short. Chance to show off the arm, and it's picked by Lowe to finish off the seventh. And Altuve's got a lead off walk. That was a pretty good pitch. Now a call on Chapman with a tying run coming to the plate. Fly ball, left center field. Back goes Lowe, onto the track. At the wall, with a leap, and a catch. Back to first goes Altuve. Evan Carter to the deepest part of left center field with a leaping grab. They're going to look at this to see if Altuve retouches second base. His foot was across the bag, but it was his other foot on it. I'm telling you, I think he's out based on that view. The call on the field is overturned. The runner is out on appeal. Texas will retain their challenge. So a successful appeal from the Rangers, and it's a double play. Soft bouncer. Lowe's got it. That's the inning. Last chance for the Astros, down two to nothing, and they face off with Jose Leclerc, who will now, John, have pitched the ninth inning in all six games for Texas. Astros down to their last strike. Leclerc's 3-2 pitch. Got him! And the Texas Rangers keep on rolling with game one in the championship series, two to nothing over the Astros. 
Simeon and Seeger, the big ticket items they got two years ago, and set the table here in game two. So here is Robbie Grossman. He's looking for his first postseason RBI. Rangers threatening early. Little tapper back to Valdez. He juggles. He throws wide. Throwing air from Fromber Valdez, leading to the first run of the game. And now the infield does does not come in for Adolis Garcia. And he lines one to right on the first pitch. It's a base hit. And the Rangers lead it two to nothing. First and third, nobody out. Mitch Garver standing in. Garver now yanks the line drive into left field. That'll drop in for another Texas hit. And it's three to nothing. So here's Nathaniel Lowe. There is one out now. Punches a base hit the other way. It does low. Here comes Garcia. Brantley up with it. His throw is cut off on a full spot in the first. Alvarez hitting 350, 7 for 20 this postseason. Turns on the ball. There it goes. Jordan Alvarez gets the Astros on the board with an upper deck home run. Boy, if you own them, you own them, don't you? Jordan's fifth home run this postseason. Four to one, Rangers. Jonah Heim gets us started here in the third inning. There's a fly ball to left field, and Jonah Heim hits it out. There's that power you're talking about. It's not just the singles. Plenty of shock in that bat as well, and the Rangers get the run right back. Bragman will lay things off, grounded out his last time up. There's a shot deep to left field. Alex Bregman gets it inside the pole. Bregman able to hit it off that foul pole, putting a good swing on it. Two solo homers for the Astros, and they are down by three now. And the Astros will bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out at the bottom of the fifth. Jeremy Pena stands in. He flied out to right field his last time up. Ground ball softly hit left side. Young charges it, goes under his glove, and everybody is safe. Bases are loaded. That's Brantley at third, McCormick at second, Pena at first. Tying runs are on for the Astros. Diaz at the plate representing the go-ahead run. Diaz swings and misses. Got him to flail after the curve for the first out. And now it's up to Jose Altuve. The one-two pitch. Altuve's down on strikes, and Ivoni goes back-to-back -back K's with the bases juice. And now it's up to Alex Bregman. A 1-0 pitch. Top of left side. Young gets another chance. This one bounces right to him. Got him, and Evaldi gets out of the jam. Now it's Brantley. He singled to start that threat in the fifth, and the Astros loaded him up. Brantley slashes the ball to left center field. That's down, and it bounces its way to the track. Alvarez is going to have a shot. Here he comes. Here comes Seager's throw. It's not in time, and it's a two-out RBI double for Michael Brantley. So two out, nobody on. Bottom of the eighth. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Handles the ball down the line. His second of the game cuts it to one. Jordan Alvarez with his second home run of the game, and the Astros are down by a run. It is five to four. And now it's Chaz McCormick's turn as Abreu, the tying run, is in scoring position. Ground ball left side. Young's got it. Juggle recovers and steps on the bag to end the eighth. It is now five to four as Jose Leclerc tries to go one and a third to lock down a 2-0 series lead for Texas. Right. Jeremy Pena will stand in. One, two, goes up to the fastball, somehow gets there, sends it in the air to right. Garcia to the wall with just enough room. Oh, he gave it a ride and gave him some hope, but it dies on the track. One gone in the nine. Now China Diaz 0 for 2, strikeout and a ground out. Ground ball, smothered by Young, to his feet, two first in time. Two gone in the ninth. Now Jose Altuve, the final hope for the Astros in game two. Fly ball, center field, Tavares comes on, the call, the catch, the win in game two. A nail biter that goes Texas way, five to four, and they lead this best of seven, two games to nine. Yeah, they've had their chances, John. One for nine with runners in scoring position. 0 for four with the bases loaded in this series. You look back to the fifth inning of game two. Bases loaded, nobody out, could not score. Here comes an 0-1. It is in the dirt. It kicks away from Hein. Here comes Alvarez. He's in there. Astros take their first lead of this series. 1-0 Houston. Second and third. And Molinato with a smash by Young. Two more runs headed for the plate. And it's 3-0 in Houston. Throw to second is in time. Montanato is tagged at second, but he's got a two-run single. Big inning for Scherzer, of course, giving up the three runs the inning before and just trying to get back to that groove. This one's club. Left field and deep. Going back to Varis. Still going back. It's gone. That's how you do it.
Left center field for Altuve, six rows deep. Four nothing Astros, and it's Altuve's turn. Here's Dubon, he singled and scored in the second. Runner on third base, infielders in. 3-2 comes home. Dubon gets a fastball and bangs it into center field to make it five to nothing Houston. Mauricio Dubon getting just his third start of the postseason continues the production from the bottom of the Astros lineup. All Houston tonight, five to nothing. In the regular season, they won five out of six here. And we're hoping to continue that pattern at least for these three games. Shot to the left side of the Rangers at their first hit. It comes from the Fanny Lowe with two gone in the fifth. So uh, Nate is on with two outs, and Josh Young is coming up. Young struck out looking on a slider his first time up. In the end center field, Dubon's going back. He's on the truck. He's at the wall. Young with an opposite field shot. Takes us on the board. And maybe, just maybe, that'll get the Rangers crowd back into it because the Astros have completely taken them out. Yeah. Left-hander Cody Bradford back out there for a second inning of work. Had a 1-2-3 fifth inning. Jordan Alvarez the batter. He's been hit by a pitch. Scored a run. Hits it in the air to center. Tavares is back. He's at the wall. He leaps. And he it Highway robbery. Leone Tavares says to everyone, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. He takes a home run away from Jordan Alvarez and keeps it a 5-2 game. What a play. Rising fastball coming in. Rising fastball going out. And Christian Javier going out. Two-out double from the rookie Evan Carter in a 5-2 game. Hector Neris going to come on for the Astros. These two met in game one of this series uh, back on Sunday in Houston. Garcia popped up to short against Neris on a 1-1 fastball. That's hammered deep to left center field, headed toward the gap. Brantley racing over, and he runs it down! What a catch by Michael Brantley! Deep left center field, that goes into a tumble on the warning track, holds on to the baseball, hitting over. Smith walks him, and he loads him up for Jordan Alvarez. Mike Maddox, the pitching coach, gonna go out to the mound and talk strategy with Will Smith. And Will Smith had a front row view of what Alvarez can do these moments last year. Swing and a shot to center field. That's a base hit. Maldonado scores. Altuve around third base. He'll score. A two-run single for Alvarez. It's seven to two Astros. Inside out swing by Alvarez. A beauty. There really hasn't been any rallies started by Texas early on, and they haven't gotten the leadoff hitter on. So that's that's the pressure they've been under. Cameras this ball. Straight away center. Dubon running out of room. Young second of the game. Single-handedly, Josh Young putting the Rangers on his back. Runners at the corners. Nobody out for Jeremy Pena, who's 0 for 3. Pop out, strike out, and ground out. Swings away at the first pitch and grounds it through that draw in infield to bring home Tucker. Pena makes it 8 to 4 Houston, and they strike right back. So two out. Simeon goes to second on the play. Here's Adolis Garcia, who's 0 for 3. And that's looped toward right. That's a base hit. Rounding third is Simeon, and he will score. Adoli's just poking that one the opposite way. And the Astros lead is cut to 8-5. Astros led this game 5 to nothing. His Young's pair of home runs that gave him some life, but the Astros just kept on scoring, kept on answering. Two in the seventh, one in the eighth. There's one two pitch. Ground ball left side. Payne has got it to second one. On the first, there's two. And the Astros come to Arlington and take game three. Back on the road and back in the win column. First man that he faces, of course, is Jose Altuve. Is one after Altuve. It shot down the line and a fair ball. Ricochet has gone into no man's land there. And Altuve turns into second with a leadoff double. He had an 0 for 17 going into his second at bat last night when he crushed the home run. That is his third hit since. With eight runs on 12 hits to win the game 8-5. And this guy had a big part of that. This is flipped into shallow center field in front of Tavares. And base said Altuve had to make sure that it would drop. He moves up 90 feet. Back-to-back -back hits to open the game for the Astros. That is one of the great contact guys in the league in Alex Bregman, who is struggling to get going in this postseason at 5 to 27. Bregman flies the ball to right center field. Tavares on the move. It's over his head and bounces to the wall. 
Altuve's in to score. Here comes Dubon. Redmond for third. Goes offline. It's a triple. And it's two to nothing Houston just like that. Very aggressive going to third here with nobody out. But he did it. And the Astros for the second game in a row have hushed this crowd immediately. Infield's pulled in. Playing right on Alvarez to pull. He spanks one into center field and continues his incredible postseason. Scoring Alex Bregman from third. And it's three to nothing. Ten pitches into the game. What a blitz. Three to nothing. Part of the order coming up for the Rangers as Adolis Garcia leads off. Two two. It's drilled. Season for Garcia. The heartbeat of these Texas Rangers giving him some life. The breaking ball in the zone, or in this case, the change up in the zone, sped up his bat. What happens? You speed up the bat, you hit a missile that gets the crowd back in it. And suddenly it's these Rangers riding the long ball for their offense. Five of their last six runs going to be at the homer. Now Bruce Bochy told us before the game that there is nobody who adjusts better than Corey Seager. He knows that he's going through it right now, 2 14 in the championship series, but he said if anybody he can overnight flip a switch, make the adjustment. It's this hitting savant, this hitting robot, Corey Seager. Goes after the first one, drills a high fly ball. Left center field. This game is tied. Adjustment made and game tied. 3-3 three, three in the third. Yeah, you said it. He hasn't gotten on top of any fastball so far. And this one out, out of the zone and crushed. That's how strong he is. He's a type of hitter that sits there and uses his legs and his hands. When his body starts going towards the pitcher, that's when you start getting the barrel under the ball. It uh, has not mattered what you've done against Jordan Alvarez in this postseason. When left-handed relievers have come on to face him, like Bradford's going to here, he's five for seven with two home runs, and one of the two outs was the home run robbery last night. It's the ninth pitch from Bradford. Alvarez cranks one in the air, center field. Back goes Tavares onto the track. Just enough room. That close to a grand slam. Astros settle for the lead on a sacrifice fly from Alvarez. Wow, he was walking a tightrope. Maldonado's in the score, taking advantage of his leadoff walk. Houston has put relentless pressure on the Rangers pitchers. Not out of the woods yet. First and third, two gone for Abreu. Out of the 2 2 pitch to Jose Abreu. Swing and a drive. Three pointer from way downtown. Palacalle. Si, senor. Abreu. A three run shot. Si, senor. What a big hit. It's seven to three, Astros. Have been pounding Abreu with fastballs in. He wanted that one in as well, but didn't get it in enough. Not of getting a good chunk of the inner third of the plate, and Abreu didn't miss it. What a swing of the bat. 438 feet off the bat, over the bullpen in left center field. McCormick does a good job against left-handed pitchers. See what he does here. Close stance from the right side. He's over two and a walk. Fly ball left center field. Carter on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. It's gone. Chaz McCormick joins the front. Launching a two-run home run of his own. And it is nine to three, Houston. They're right at their average in this ballpark. He's hit a couple balls hard, had nothing to show for it. Well, now he does. Center to right center's hit approach, but when he gets a ball down in or a breaking ball that he can pull, he did not miss it. And Josh Young, after the two home run game yesterday, is 0 for 2, does have an RBI with a sack fly back in the second. Top of left side, Bregman's got it, and this series is tied at two games apiece. The rest of this series is going to be determined by really, really good starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers up until this point, and the same can be said for the Houston Astros, who've got Verlander going tomorrow night. Six foot six inch lefty Jordan Montgomery ready to go to Jose Altuve who gets booed as usual here. He's gone five for nine in the last two games including a home run. Off we go at game five. He swings away at the first pitch and how good does that feel for Jordan Montgomery. Well you hear the crowd and the crowd knows that is step one to a successful game for the Rangers. Mauricio Dubon stands in. Off the middle on the first pitch. Two pitches. Two grounders to Simeon and two outs. How about that? Two pitches, two outs. And Alex Bregman is coming up. Bregman gets a fly ball to left field. Back goes Carter on the track. Get the wall. Bregman gets the Astros on the board. A first inning home run.
Well, the Astros finally break through against Jordan Montgomery. Bregman does it. I mean, this is what you wanted to draw up. You were looking for 15 to 18 outs. His pitch count is perfect. Yes, he gave up the one run, but your offense at some point has to wake up. Tucker flips one into right field, and he's got a leadoff base hit. Here's one away. And that's out number one. Tucker goes back to first base. Jeremy Pena grounded out his first time. This one's shot to short. Seager, Simeon, dropped the ball, and everybody's safe. Bruce Bochy wants to challenge. And that hit the heel of his glove. He never had control of that baseball. It hit the heel of his glove and popped out. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is safe. Uh, the Rangers have been playing impeccable defense all series long. This is their first real blunder. Tucker tagging going to third. The throw will go to second. But Maldonado makes the second out of the inning, and the Astros have runners at the corners for Jose Altuve. Altuve bunts it out in front of the plate, picked up by Heim, throws to first in time. Altuve trying to bunt for a hit, but basically bunted it right in front of the plate, did the Rangers a favor there. So one out of nobody on for Nathaniel Lowe, who flied out to left his first time. He gets to this one, sends it deep down the line, threatening the pole. That ball is history. Nathaniel Lowe has tied the game with an opposite field towering home run to left. Lowe, who has looked lost and came up empty on fastballs in the middle of the zone, catches up to this one and ties the game. Jose Abreu climbs into the box. Abreu last time didn't, didn't even come close to any of the breaking balls that he was able to throw. Now the pitch. And that is hit sharply and hits off the chest of Seager and kicks it to center. That will allow Bregman to score. Alvarez tears for third. Two to one, Astros. An in between bounce that Seager can't corral. Astros jump back in front, two to one. So Montgomery issues his second walk of the inning and of the ball game. And now Bruce Bochy are walking out of the dugout to the mound. So McCormick flies out to shallow right for the second out in the inning. And that brings up Jeremy Pena. Up the middle. Simeon a diving stop. Simeon's the game. Great play by Marcus Simeon, taking a base hit away from Jeremy Pena and keeping another run or two off the board. And so he settles for the 90 feet. First and third one away. It comes onto the mound here. All of the infielders are there. There's a just a little bit of a stirring out of the Houston bullpen. The Rangers have been very aggressive on the first pitch. Adolis Garcia 0 for 2, ground out and a fly out. Swings and hits one high and deep into left field. McCormick is back at the wall. It is gone! Gone! Adolis Garcia who slams his bat down midway between home and first. Now starts to take his trot. A three run. Jimmy Jack here for Adolis Garcia to put Texas in front, four to two. And Adolis able to turn on that 95 mile an hour pitch. Four to two, Rangers lead the Astros, bottom of the eighth. Brian Abreu into the game for the Astros, making his fourth appearance in five games in this series. The Rangers looking to add on, and Evan Carter aboard with nobody out for Adolis Garcia. Oh! And he gets the first pitch here, and gets right in Maldonado's ear. The benches are clearing in the American League Championship Series. Uh, more important than ever right now that everybody keeps their cool, understanding the bigger picture of this series and this season. Well, you can understand why he's so hot. That's a 97 mile an hour fastball up near the shoulder. A lot of it might have to do with how long he walked after he hit that home run. But of course, the Rangers and the Astros have done this before back in July in Houston, and Maldonado was right in the middle of it. So the umpire is not convinced that that one just got away from Brian Abreu, who only hit three batters all regular season. And Dusty will end up going, too. And he looks Brian Abreu. And Dusty has a case. I mean, this is a tough call for the umpires. I mean, you could, like you said, you know, no one's going to, why would you want to put a the second runner on and first and second nobody out. Dusty uh, still hanging out. Uh, he's. I mean, I understand the argument Dusty's making. What's going on here with Dusty? It looked like he was thrown out of the game, but he's still in the dugout. But it looks like the umpires are telling him, let's, let's go, you're out of here. First postseason hit for Yiner Diaz, and that'll bring up John Singleton. Pinch hitting for Martin Maldonado. 3-2 pitch. Ball four. Tied one reaches for Houston. And up comes Jose Altuve. Four times he's been up there today, John. He's 0 for 4 on five pitches. The 1 High fly ball to deep left field. Back to the wall. Altuve makes the moment again. 
Astros lead in the night. It's gone. It's gone. Jose Altuve gives the Astros a 5-4 to four lead. How do you like that? Most of the Astros players out in front of the third base dugout celebrating and ready to greet Altuve. Altuve is the lone star once again for the Astros. It's the Rangers' turn with 8, 9, and 1 coming up against Presley. Right run at the plate in the bottom of the ninth. The bouncing ball left side and a leadoff single for Garver. Steady drip of drama here in game five. One one pitch is ripped and passed Altuve into right center. Smith makes the turn and hangs on. Back-to-back -back singles from eight and nine in the lineup to start the bottom of the nine. Does this game have one more massive swing in it? Top of the order and Marcus Simeon. 1-1 one -one pitch. Simeon rips it to short and it's caught. Kessinger, fresh into the game, makes the play. Kessinger, his first postseason action with an outstanding play for the first out. Their best hitter in the biggest moment. Seager hits the ball in the air. Center field. Dubon drifting back. He's got room. And Smith still at second. Two gone in the ninth. It's going to come out to Carter and his his ability to stay calm as Carter plays like he's 35 years old instead of 21. <laughs> Swing and a miss and the Astros win this classic. The Astros have gone from down 2 on the series to a head 3-2. What a win for the Houston Astros. They're one win away from a third trip to the World Series. The booze rain down on Adolis Garcia. They don't like him very much. On this one, two pitch, he swings and misses with a ball in the dirt. Won't even head down to first. That's the inning. First and second, one away. Jordan Alvarez. I mean, you look at the numbers that Alvarez has against Duvaldi, and it's like this has got to be a misprint. Yeah. Nine out of 13 with two home runs. Alvarez, jam shot, right center, it's down. Here comes Altuve. Alvarez and Altuve combined to get the Astros on the board quickly. He's able to muscle it in the shallow right center field. A great read by Jose Altuve knowing exactly where the outfielders were and he scores easily. Here is Mitch Garver to lead it off and the first pitch here is lifted high into the air. Deep right field going back on this is Tucker. He's at the wall. He leaps and it is gone. A first pitch home run for Mitch Garver hit into right field and just like that the Rangers tie this game at one. We talk about how Flamber Valdez can get rattled and uh, maybe that'll do it. Mitch gets a 94 mile an hour fastball, 375 feet. And runs it first with two outs in the fourth in a tie ball game, and Jonah Heim coming up. Got an 0 1 pitch. Drives one the other way. Tucker's going back towards the corner at the wall. A leap and it's gone. Just over the glove of Tucker. Two home runs for the Rangers the other way, and they've taken the lead in game six. You see how he's floating? Oh, wow, yes, he could have got that. He was floating back and just outside that glove. As Jonah picks up his second home run of the postseason, they've both been hit off Valdez. And so Jordan, two for two, with an intentional walk, has reached all three times. Alvarez goes to third, tying runs are on for Mauricio Dubon. His 0-2, back up with a fastball, it slashed to right center field. Garcia's able to catch it. It'll bring home Alvarez, and it's 3-2. Sacrifice fly for Mauricio Dubon, who again comes through. The Rangers have runners at first and second with two men out now for Corey Seager. On this 2-1 pitch, pulls it sadly, knocked down by Abreu. Recovers, calmly and feeds Neris to end the inning. Great play by Abreu to keep it in front. A really tough play. And a great play by the Astros' first baseman to leave it there for the Texas Rangers. They stray in two. It's the Rangers three. Astros too. Here comes Adolis Garcia. And now in this rivalry where the blood has boiled, intensity is built, they face off again on one two. Swing and a miss. Got him on a slider upstairs. And Garcia has the golden sombrero, much to the delight of the crowd at Minute Maid Park. One away. And it brings up Mitch Garver. Garver homer to right field in the second inning. On 3-1. Garver rips the line drive to the left field corner. It's a fair ball. Carter's in with the insurance. Garver's got a three-hit game, and Texas has a 4-2 lead. Garver's having his moment. The Astros have loaded the bases. And Jeremy Pena's been called back. John Singleton's going to pinch hit. He pinched it against LeClerc in game five, his first plate appearance of the postseason.
and was able to draw a walk against him. Payoff pitch. He struck him out swinging on a 92 mile an hour high cutter. Singleton strikes out and the Astros leave the bases loaded in the eighth. No runs a hit. Three left and we're going to the ninth. Corey Seager, bases loaded, trying to crack through. He's 0 for 4 today and has struggled with runners in scoring position throughout this series. Stanek's on to face him. Oh, he gets hit and they do the hard way to make it 5 to 2. Stanek will try and continue Garcia's misery tonight. He has struck out four times. Well, you can just see he's trying to hit it over the train tracks. He's trying to make a statement here and just really coming out of himself. Stanek's one run. He is thrilled on a line. Left field and gone! Adolis Garcia makes his statement, and the Rangers have their sights set on game seven. Well, it was on the train tracks, but it was special. Third straight game with a home run for Adolis Garcia. The Rangers have broken it open. They lead 9-2. to two. Barney, Houston miracle. This series is going seven. And here's Jankowski. Jankowski flies one to right field. Tucker's going back. Track, wall, lead, catch! Wow, Tucker brings this one back. Almost an instant replay of the home run earlier from Hine. But this one he's able to grab. Right up to the ball on plane. Look how tall and how much he brought that ball back. And Andrew Heaney is coming on to uh, finish the job tonight. Two pitches, two outs for Heaney. Brantley has walked twice. 0 for 2. We're headed to a game 7 in this All-Texas Championship Series. And isn't it fitting that these teams that tied during the regular season at 90 and 72 still can't decide things through six games. This is how it's supposed to be. These teams are tied after 162 games during the regular season. They are tied after six games in this championship series. And Corey Seager stands in. But he's at just 192 in this championship series. Seager hits a high fly ball. Deep right field. A bomb in the first. A mammoth home run for Corey Seager into the upper deck, and the Rangers grab a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. And a stolen base for Carter. And speaking of hitting it hard, John, here comes Adolis Garcia. Garcia gets up on it, drives it to left, back it goes, off the wall. Carter read it well, here he comes, 2-0 Texas in the first. Adolis Garcia's tear continues. Two stolen base attempts in the first inning is like, wow. Garber lifts it to center field. McCormick a step back at first. Now comes on, and that ball's going to fall. The throw is not in time. It's three to nothing, Rangers. Max Scherzer on the mound for the Rangers, who lead three to nothing as we start the bottom of the first. They'll bring the potential tying run to the plate. And that would be Jose Abreu. Bouncing ball and a fair ball. Pass Young against the Astros on the board. Altuve's in the score. A long single from Jose Abreu. Three to one. Adolis Garcia, who added another RBI his first time off. If the Rangers win game seven, John, he might be the MVP. Yeah. And drives one the other way, down the line. If it's fair, he's got another! He does! Adolis Garcia owning October! An opposite field home run for Adolis Garcia. The home run streak stretches to four. The Rangers lead four to one. Here's Bregman. 35 extra base hits in his postseason career. High drive. Left center field. Carter on the move. That ball's off the top of the wall and gone. Bregman hits it out. Four to two. And the 19th home run of his postseason career. That ties him for six all time. Carter walked in, scored in the first, grounded out in the second. Rangers by two. Chance here in the fourth. Carter pulls one down the line. That is fair. The kick comes through. Young's in to score. So is Simeon. Two-run double for 21-year-old Evan Carter. And now it's Garcia. Man on a mission. His 2-0 is over the plate and grounded through the left side. A base hit. Seager's in. Here comes Carter. He'll score without a throw. Adolis Garcia is three for three and has knocked in four. It's eight to two, Texas. Adolis Garcia has a new American League Championship Series record for RBIs. One on two out, top of the six, and that brings up Nathaniel Lowe. Really been in a little bit of a funk as well. The three-one. That ball is hit high and deep into right field. Tucker going back. He's at the wall. He leaps, and it is gone.
Nathaniel Lowe with a two-run home run. He puts Texas into double figures. Marotis Chapman is on here to face Jordan Alvarez. Cracked in the ground and through. The incredible Jordan Alvarez has his third hit of the game, and he's driven in Alex Bregman to make it 10-3. Unbelievable. 15th RBI for Alvarez this postseason. Here comes Adolis Garcia. See if the crowd has any energy left to boo Adolis now. And the pitch swung on in a high fly ball hit to left field. This is deep. Back is Brantley at the wall. He's looking up, and that ball is history. Garcia has hit another home run. Impossible. His fifth in the last four games. He owns Houston. What a historic postseason he is having. And it's Jose Leclerc. Obviously not a safe situation, but it is fitting that as the Rangers try to close this out. Jose Altuve stands in, and Leclerc's first pitch, and Altuve hits it high in the air, deep to left field. If it stays fair, it's gone, and it is gone. And then the Landry's Crawford boxes for Jose Altuve, his second home run of the series of Jose Leclerc. Now Jordan Alvarez, he's reached four times. Swing and a miss, and Alvarez is the first out of the nine. The Astros have two men on with one out of the ninth, trailing 11 to four. On a 3-2, Brantley pops it up. Short left field. Seager is out, he gets there, and the Astros are down to their last out. And the Rangers are an out away from their third American League pennant. Grounder to second. Two years removed from losing 100. The Rangers have won the pennant. For the first time since 2011, the Rangers are going to the World Series. They are the champions of the American League toppling the Houston Astros. What an amazing year this has been.